what's up guys war here welcome back to the channel today we are going to be going over our barrage speed build for you guys this is updated from the ptr so if you guys saw my video in the ptr it was awesome some things have changed uh, but the build is absolutely insane so we're going to go over to everything really really quick and then of course showcase the gr90 for you guys to show you how awesome it is now i have the build uh done a little bit differently so let's just go over everything that you're going to need the biggest change with spear barrage is not only did they increase the damage of spear barrage but that's the only change <laughs> that so they changed the spear barrage damage they dealt it deals 20 percent or twenty thousand percent increased damage and then uh an additional percent equal to five times your mana regenerate per second which ours is pretty crappy i think uh it's 64 which is actually not really bad at all so everything is going to be uh ran through uh spirit barrage is going to be doing everything and we're going to be zooming around the map so you have five pieces of the mundugu set you're going to have big bad mama voodoo follow you around you're going to get a big damage reduction uh when you enter the spirit realm which we are going to be in basically non-stop um and then you got the increased damage now i've paired this for speeds with the guardian set because you get the additional 100 on your um intelligence and all your attributes from your equipped items so that's why our toughness is through the roof and our damage is really high you can see if i when i take it off all my stuff drops down to little old baby power but now we're super strong again when it's on so the next couple pieces is what the main parts of this build we have lakumba's ornament for a big huge damage reduction equal to our soul harvest stacks which max out at five uh, which is really strong you always want to keep that up of course, we have Squirt's Necklace for double damage. Uh, we have COE for um, additional damage, which is just really good on our cold rotation. Uh, and then, of course, Ring of Emptiness. This is optional, but it does give some extra damage. I definitely advise using this, guys, with Locust Swarm, which is basically going to hit everybody as well. Uh, so you do additional damage to enemies that are affected by uh, our Locust Swarm, which is going to be everybody. And now down to the two main items of this build, we have the Barber. Instead of dealing direct damage, your spirit barrage now accumulates on the target. When you stop casting, it explodes, dealing a crap ton of damage. You can only have three spirit barrage Montudu uh, spirits up at a time. So once you cast three, we just zoom around until they fade away and we cast another one. But we get the increased damage there. Next, what makes this build super, super fast, guys, is this right here. Shukarani's Triumph. I probably butchered that name wrong, but this is it. So... After the initial duration of Spirit Walk ends, it will continue to last until you either attack three times or you come into an elite pack uh, enemy within 20 yards of you and then attacks while you're in the Spirit Realm deal 91% or up to 100% more damage. So when we're running around in Spirit Realm, hitting everything but an elite pack, you get up to the more damage, which is great. And then you just destroy stuff as you run around. So you actually don't even have to attack. Into our cube. We got Gazing Demise, which gives us an increased damage to Spear Barrage, and it gains the Phantasm Room. Lasts twice as long, and it has an increased attack rate. Then Frostburn, because this is a cold build, guys, we're going to deal 20% more damage. And then Ring of Royal Grandor to piece these two together. Now, I will say this. When you're doing builds like this, guys, I should have swapped this. This Ring of Emptiness should be in the cube, because we want the maximum damage at 300%, as opposed to the 250. That's just a little tech that you guys can do. I need to mess around with a ring to put in here, but right now I just have this. So uh, in the final version, I would just swap these two so you get the maximum damage. That's the same reason why we have Gazing Demise in here. Down to our skills and passives. We have a Locust Swarm Pestilence because you're going to be doing additional damage because it jumps to more enemies. So you drop this on an enemy, let Spirit Barrage kill them, and you'll see it jump to everything. Of course, Spirit Barrage Mantu. Man Many two? I'm saying that wrong. Uh, but this is where we have the increased damage. This is what they did for season 28. It used to be way less than 14,000%, but they jumped it up. I think it was around 5,000 or something like that, but they jumped it up to 14,000 damage. So this build absolutely shreds. Uh, Spirit Walk Severance, you can change this. If you don't like Severance for the increased uh, movement speed, I definitely advise Jaunt so you can just do it longer. But with this build, I would do Severance for more movement speed because we're going to have this up the entire time. Uh, now, I'm also doing Soul Harvest Languish for the increased armor stacks. We got Horrify Stalker for more movement speed. Um, and then, of course, Bid Bag Mama Voodoo Doo Doo, uh, which will give us increased attack speed, 
um, and uh, give us ritual heals and reduce damage taken. Into our passives, I have Pierce of the Veil. All of my damage is increased by 20%, but mana costs are increased by 30. We're really not spending mana except for on Spear Barrage. We do spend some mana on Locust Swarm, but it's not much. Um, you're only going to cast this once or twice. Uh, and then we have uh, Rush of Essence. Spirit spells return 100 mana, which our spirit spells are going to be Spirit Walk, uh, um, excuse me, uh, Horrify, and then uh, Soul Harvest. So we're going to get all our mana back, as well as getting mana back from Bid Bad Mama Juju. Grave Injustice. We gain maximum life and mana uh, reduction, or excuse me, maximum life and mana. And then you reduce your cooldown when we, when we kill stuff, which is going to be nonstop. And then I have Confidence Ritual. You deal more damage to enemies that are within 20 yards, which is going to happen all the time. So that is the build, guys. It's super, super fast. You can see this whole time we're still in Spirit Walk. So let's go crank a 90. The build is very, very simple. We're going to pop a potion. You're going to pop Soul Harvest and Spirit Walk. Cast three of these. Hit a Pestilence. And you just kind of let them do, the, do all the damage. Get your Spirit Walk up. You see all the green. That's from our Pestilence. And we just kind of running around. We're looking for elites. This this is almost like an elite packing build in a way, because your spirit barrage is going to do all the damage to all the small stuff. So we really only want to focus on elites. We really only care about elites. We just let them do all the damage. Give me this. Build is super fast. Get out of here. I love it. You just let them kill everything like behind you. It's so cool. And it's a fairly strong build. And again, my stuff's not even optimized. Like I have all the staff priorities, but we don't have, you know, like we got like level 50 rings. We have nothing augmented. And you just kind of zoom around. Cast your uh, spirit barrages when you find an elite pack just to kind of do some additional damage here. And that's it, man. You're just running around. Let them kill everything. Oh, we got a power rune over here. Remember, you lose your spirit walk when you come in front of Elite Pack. Otherwise, cast your big mama voodoo every time you get it. And we're just zooming. Uh, there must have been an Elite Pack there that I missed. Must have missed it. That's it. This build can do like sub two minutes, sub two and a half minutes. We did sub two minutes and our build's not even crazy, guys. It is a super, super strong build for the Witch Doctor if you're, and I'm not even a Witch Doctor main. See, like our gems are just so low. They're so low. So low, guys. So low. But we'll finish, oops. Whoopsie. Okay, now it finished. And that's it. Sub two minutes, guys. Two minutes and what? Like, or a minute and 20. Minute 46. So sub two minutes on the GR90. The build is super fast, super strong. Uh, you can swap a few things if you guys want. You don't have to run this. You could run Gazing Demise, but I like to move around as fast as possible. So that is the build. Oh, our legendary gems, guys, are Bane of the Trap for more damage. Gogok of Swiftness for dodge speed and cooldown. And then Molten Beast, Wild Gizzard, so that way we can keep our um, Bane of the, or excuse me, our squirts up at all times. If you don't want to run Molten Wildebeest Gizzard, you could run uh, Bane of the Stricten or Bane of the Powerful. Both are solid. I would suggest both of those over anything. If you really wanted to push it, you could do Zayas for a little bit more damage, or if you're in groups, but that's all I would do. So that is the updated Barrage speed build for you guys. Um, as always, drop a like on this video if you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And then get out there and dominate with the least played class in Diablo 3. Uh, and as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>